First at five, California will soon have a new United States Senator. LaFonza Butler was chosen by Governor Gavin Newsom to succeed the late Dianne Feinstein. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. Butler's appointment to the Senate is historic as California's first black senator and the Senate's first black LGBTQ plus senator. But Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein says the appointment may ruffle some feathers in the 2024 Senate election. Will. Yeah, that's right, Michael. This summer, Eyewitness News spoke with candidates Barbara Lee, Katie Porter, and Adam Schiff. Two of the three indicated a temporary appointment who vows not to run would be the best fit for the state. But it's not clear if LaFonza Butler will be here for just the short term or for the long term. It's really a bad day for Katie Porter, Barbara Lee, and Adam Schiff. But it will soon be a really good day for LaFonza Butler, who will be California's first black senator and the state's first LGBTQ senator. Ms. Butler is going to go up there and represent California, um, and not just as a Democrat, but as as a, the only black woman in the U.S. Senate. The intersection of different um, demographic characteristics that she's bringing to the table in terms of um, being of uh, being black and also identifying as LGBTQ+. Butler has worn several different hats over the years from being a University of California regent, president of a union, and even working on the campaigns of former California Senator and current Vice President Kamala Harris' campaigns. But her recent role leading EMILY's List might be her most significant. EMILY's List funds uh, pro-choice Democratic candidates. They're very successful at doing what they do, and that is a key constituency that Democrats need to turn out. For a long time, it appeared Senate candidate and current U.S. Congresswoman Barbara Lee would be appointed to the role should Senator Feinstein need to step down due to Governor Gavin Newsom's promise to appoint a black woman to the role. You know, age is, is becoming a bit of a factor when we talk about, you know, national level politics again, you know, not just in the uh, presidential elections, but also the Senate in general. You know, the average age of the senators are well into 60s and above. Butler is more than 30 years Lee's junior. Anderson says whether Butler runs or not, the people of California will judge her performance at the ballot box. What's nice about uh, democracy and, and our, our nation is that all the candidates will have the opportunity to campaign. And if you're not happy with this appointment, you do get to make a decision. But political strategist Matt Klink thinks Butler's upcoming decision is the one that is most important, whether to run for a full term or step aside for the candidates already in the race. The decision will be of utmost importance to the political futures of Representatives Adam Schiff and Katie Porter, the two highest polling candidates in the 2024 Senate race. Ms. Butler was not required to pledge that she would not run, and I think that that alone should send shivers down uh, Adam Schiff and Katie Porter's uh, spines. She has the ability to raise a ton of money. She's got a nationwide network. And if Ms. Butler does decide to throw her hat into the ring, she instantly becomes one of the front-running candidates. And coming up tonight at 6, we will tell you more about the historical significance of Butler's appointment. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.